Super Freak, <clears throat> Rick James. The song is more or less, it's three sections. Da 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 da, ba da. But right, there's one. <clears throat> the second one, uh, she's all right, bang bang, she's all right, bang bang. Okay, there's the second one. And then the money shot, the money shot is ba, yeah, blah, blah, boom, boom, blah, boom, blah, blah. That's the one everybody wants to know about. Okay, here's the thing. Real fast. 90% of the song is super free, super, it's this. Uh, like a drum machine. The whole time. Boom, ba boom, boom, ba boom, boom, ba boom, boom, ba boom. Okay, that's out of the way. We go on to the second part real fast, and we're going to get right to the money shot. All right, we put these on because I'll go down. And then what happens is, is she's a rock bum bum. She is, 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 is like a James Brown y fuck, like, like. Okay? One yen, two yen, three yen, four yen, one yen, two yen, three yen, four yen, one yen, two yen, three yen, four yen, one yen, two yen, three yen, four yen. Okay? The very first time they go into it, uh, I, I don't think it is an a one, but essentially it goes a one and a two and a three and a four and a one and a two and a three. Okay, with the exception of right when they go into it, it might just be like one and a two and a three and a four and a one and a two and a three and a four and a one and a two three and a four and. And then we go into the cum shot. We'll call it that. C O M E, like someone's coming into the house. Right, kiddies? Okay. The money shot. So here we go. What happens is. Is you'll always see on forums, like, you know, I'm trying to learn, you know, the, the middle part to Super Freak and blah, blah, blah. Okay, bear with me here. It takes a little explaining, but it's actually very simple. The whole song does move a little bit, time-wise. But what happens is that she's all right, bum, bum. She's all right, bum, bum, bum. Ba, ba. That whole part is in perfect 132 beats per minute. She's all right, bang, bang. She's all right, bang, bang. Ba, ba. The money shot. It, it's all a hunt. Put on your metronome. Put on your rats and crats and whatever you got to do. A hunt, perfect 132 beats per minute. She's all right. beats per minute. Exactly. When they come out of that, the time shifts a little. I don't know if the drummer, if they were playing to a click track, but then once they got to the da 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 da, they just loosened up a little or whatever. Check it yourself. They just, they, they come off the click, okay? But as that part comes around again, they get back on the click, or the drummer and the bass player are just so solid that just so happens for the bridgey part, they're dead on, right? Okay, here's the thing. Ah, so just, I'm, I'm gonna, the, uh, I'm going to suspend that just for now because we're going into the money shot, right? Oh, look, I'm going to edit out that C word shot. Okay. So, uh, that crash, of course, is on an upbeat. One, two, three, four. Okay? Though all three of those crashes you hear. Those are all mathematically, according to the click track, on upbeats. Okay? Now, when I explain this, I might, when I play it, shorten the duration of the yeah, blah, but not the placement of the beats, just because I'm very anxious. Obviously, I'm, I do have ADD, as people have so rudely pointed out in the videos. But bear with me. But the point I'm trying to make, always bear with me, the point I'm trying to make is those crashes are all on upbeats. So Okay? Now, for the astute, even though this is going to be on the Zeppelin page, this is on the Terry Keating drums page, that fill that, that goes... 
the perception of the song, see I gotta digress here, but I'm not gonna digress yet. Let's just get okay. So if you're on the click, right? So ba da 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 ba da ba da It's universal. It seems like everybody I've ever talked to about it or read on forums or whatever, what seems to happen is, is everybody hears that first crash as an upbeat. Right? But then kind of what happens is, I don't know if it's a little bass line that the bass player kind of tosses in there sometimes, but we start to hear those second two crashes as on the downbeat. and I played it right. I would just play what I heard. Okay? I, and I'm sure a lot of guys or gals or whoever's listening right now, that's how you hear it. So, ba -da. But that's not it. What I, essentially what I just did there is I played the first note on, on an upbeat but then shifted the second two crash notes to the downbeat and the corresponding stuff afterward, which is the way I think most people hear it and the way I hear it, but which also has the illusion of making it sound like it's not in perfect time. But it is. Like I said at the beginning of the video, as soon as they get to the J's all right, bang, bang, shoot with the 97 string bass guitar, she's all right, bang, bang, it is 132 nuclear beats atomic clocky per minute okay 132 132 100, okay so it's like now again if i shave off some of the music meaning the length of the music forgive me i'm just anxious to show this to you and i don't have it pipe uh, this is just for my hearing so so uh she's again a couple times. So what is actually done there again? So so day's all right. Ba ba she's all right. Ba ba here's the quarter note 132 beats per minute. Ba, da, da, ba, ba. Whoever sent, whoever, uh, Chris, I think it was you who sent me that email, yes. This is my crash ride, this is my thin crash. Heisty PST5 18 inch thin crash. The best bargain on the planet for B8L, I take my word for it. Anyway, back, don't click off, don't be like, oh, this guy doesn't know what he's talking about, because he does. At least as far as this song is concerned. So again, so what we're going to do, remember, there's two ways of looking at the song. Right now I'm presenting to you what was actually played on the click track version of everything, as it's based on, okay? She's all right. Remember the first three crashes. Ba, 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 ba. Upbeat. They're on the upbeat. Okay. They're, they're, the illusion, what happens is when we listen to the song, it makes it sound like those other two crashes and the subsequent rest of the part then shift to the downbeat. So like, so... Again, it's sometimes it's the perception of stuff. It's, it's the way it comes out. It's the way in the place where Rick James, hey, and the bass player puts that little note in there. It gives it the illusion that those second two crashes slip somehow to the downbeat.
not how it goes. It actually does go, again, if I shave off a little of the music here. Sorry, so. Okay, so let me try it with my foot. Watch. Bear, bear with me here. She's all right. She's all right. Beats per minute. Da, da, 132. We don't stray. Right on the freaking 130. The whole time in the, again, the rest of the song and the, da, in, in the, da, 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 the time moves in the rest of the song. Put your metronome on, listen. But I'm telling you, on that, she's all right, ba ba and the crashes, it's 132. Da, da, da. Anyways, so watch. Here it is, 132. Oh, sorry, that's sloppy. I left out a bass drum note, but let's do it again. So she's all right. So we're gonna go right and forget the she's all right. We're gonna go right into it. Up, up, up. Again, when I do that, I might be shaving off a, a little of the music part, but like a quarter note, not like a little important part, but just. Um, but that's what happens, okay? So she's all right. shaving a little bit of music off, but the point I'm trying to make, because I don't have the song here in my head, is that those three crashes are all on the upbeat, so, okay, that, you know the upbeat, okay, every one of those is on the upbeat, okay, and then the, the, uh, is actually, <clears throat> When I talk about in the bottom stuff, the bottom turnaround. So if I go, that is actually the notes and the feel the drummer's actually putting there. So the. That's how the drummer's actually playing it, like a, like a bottom beat when it gets to that part. That's how it actually counts in. So it's like. works in the song is the quarter note 132 when we get to this part it moves around in the rest of the song but except for these parts it stays on 132 okay again every one of those crashes is on the upbeat and then the, as is of course the first note of the snare is on an upbeat too just like it would be in a bottom type again john bottom didn't invent the, that part So again, but when that, so again, two ways of looking at it. The way it was actually played just like this. Okay, but there's also a way, and the way I played it for a long time.
time is I would just think about, you actually can if you, I mean, again, a lot of guys watch me say, why are you going to worry so much about the details? I'm just explaining. A lot of guys, I'm sure, are curious or gals, are curious how it actually went. But also, you don't want it to sound, you want it to, when you play covers, sometimes you want them to sound semi-authentic. You know, there's a lot of guys that, or gals that play covers. They don't play them the right way. And they'll say, well, it's because I want my own artistic thing. Well, it's, in my opinion, 80% of the time it's because they can't play it the right way. Don't get me wrong. I'm not saying you have to play it the right way, but it's not bad sometimes if you know how to play it the right way. My opinion. Okay. So, you, what you can do is a cheat, or the way, mo again, most of the time we hear it as human beings is... On the downbeat... that way, in that perception of doing it that way, this, the perception will be that, will be that it shifts to the, uh, to the uppy, okay? Okay, it'll be, okay, but that's not, but, but that's kind of the thing, again, the keys of this are, Hopefully you get this out of it. I know I ramble and I know I'm Mr. ADD and blah blah blah. But the way that actually works, if you lay, if you put a click track to those two parts, she's all right, ba ba, she's a ba ba. If you put the click there, it's. actually what happens in Super Freak. Again, belies, it's just a classic example, I think, of how your perception of things can change in songs. Again, like I've said in other videos, where sometimes you get in the car, so you get in the car, you're busy doing something, you turn the radio on, suddenly you'll hear the beat first, and then, well, no, you might not hear the beat first, you'll hear a melody first, and then it makes it sound like the drums are in a weird place. But then suddenly you're like, wait a minute, I don't know where the one is. And then you're like, oh, I know that song. It's that type of thing. Okay, that happens in a lot of songs. And Zeppelin used to do it on purpose a lot. But anyway, in this Rick James thing, that's, that's what it is. That's, that's actually what the drummer's playing there. Again, but it doesn't sound that way when we listen to it. Maybe because of the little note the bass player throws on, or the way Rick James, you know, inflects his voice, he might drag something or starts. It's just everything. It's really neat in music that everything your per, your perception of it is very important. Again, so uh, but again, so it does. If you put a click to the song, the 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 bridge we'll call it the bridge part. She's all right, ba 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 into the break. It's all, again, 132 beats per minute. I don't know if said, I'm kicking a dead horse, but you know what? You learn stuff when you hear it. You say it 10,000 times. But then as we go back into... Da, ba, na, na, ba, ba, and especially after, in the last part of the song, after the third bridge, or we'll call it, ba, ba, right away the drummer gets off the click, immediately. Now, I'm not saying neither here nor there. I, I like... It sounds good to me. I'm not a guy that says it should all, you know, like, oh, he's off the click, whatever. Um, but again, that's how the super break... Super Freak break sounds. No, it is. So, again, hopefully, thank you for subscribing to my new channel. Uh, I know a lot of people ask for Black Sabbath and stuff. I Don't get me wrong, I love Black, Black Sabbath. Great band. They sound like a raw Led Zeppelin. Terrific musicians. That's my dryer. That's not my grandma bagging down there. Um, but I, I, I really have to listen to that stuff first to do it. Plus, too, I, I mean, I'm not a diehard... Uh, Black Sabbath guys, so I kind of feel like if I made Black Sabbath videos, they'd kind of be half bars because I really don't have like the mojo going on. You know what I'm saying? Maybe we could have a Wardzolium. Is there a Wardzolium out there? Anyway, thanks for watching my videos. I appreciate it.